When was the last time you cried? It was, I think, two weeks ago. Can I ask why? Yeah. So, um, I worked for over 10 months um, for a social organization here in Santa Cruz and um, was a life-sharing organization with people with special needs. And um, yeah, I worked there almost every day um, from the morning to the evening and had only one day off. And um, yeah, it was a lot of pressure and I really enjoy uh, working with people, but um, I had no privacy at all and I worked and worked and then I was really at the point where my body felt like shit and yeah, I had to change something and the whole situation um, brought a lot of feelings up in myself and yeah, and then I start crying. Um, I think it was last Tuesday when I was in my psychiatrist's office. Can I ask why? Yeah, we were just talking about my life right now and I'm really overwhelmed with school and work so um, we were talking about that and I just like tears started leaking out of my eyes. I didn't really intend to do that. Ooh. Uh -huh. I want to say it was within a week, I think. I can't remember the exact day. I think it was like a Wednesday. What's today? Sunday? A week and a half? Something like that. Can I ask why? Why? Because I was overwhelmed. And I am constantly overwhelmed. I think it was about a couple days ago. <laughs> um, I'm kind of a crybaby. Um, comes with the territory. Um, I have a lot of anxiety, um, just about everything in general. So a couple days ago, uh, I was having a panic attack because I didn't know where I was going to live in three weeks. I still don't know where I'm going to live in three weeks. Um, just kind of that bridge between going home or staying at school, you know. Um, today, like three hours ago. Can I ask why? I was ending things in a relationship. If I'm gonna be honest, it was last night. May I ask why? Uh, I was looking at some friend's story on Snapchat and I saw a video of my ex and his new partner and uh, you know I just started thinking and just got sad it wasn't a it ended pretty badly and I don't know Like knocks, knocks me out. out. Like, yeah, like I, after I cry, like I, like I, I feel like I can't do anything. Like if I cry earlier in the day, oh I have to sit the whole day just like. <sighs> after I cry, I kind of have the opposite reaction. I get really giddy. Like I'm like, yeah, like, I'm <laughs> yeah. <on now." laughs> I never think about that. Okay, when I when I think about movies, like when people cry in movies, because I've never cried watching a movie before. Really? Never. I I, I think. Yeah, but um. I, I always think it's just people purely cry because of the story of the movie, mm -hmm. not because the story might share similarities with things that have happened in that person's life. I just, you know that feeling when you're like, you feel like you could start crying whenever? Like you could just no, turn it on? I don't have that. Okay, that, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably like about a month ago when I first or no, it's like two months ago like mid the middle of March Why? Um, Because I was really happy that I came here I Kind of had like a moment where I was just really disappointed in where I was going Maybe gonna be a nurse and I didn't really want to do that. 
and being here and like away from my family made me really happy. Is this a good cry or like a sad cry or any cry? Any cry. Uh, probably like two weeks ago when you and Alex came over. And what was happening? Fuck. We were playing Smash. Oh, and then Henry B was here. And then Henry, other Henry came. Yeah, and we were just being stupid. I think you were there. We were being very dumb. And I cried of laughter. Which is something I'd, it's not that uncommon for me to do. So, that was the last time I cried. The last time I cried was three years ago. I was in Germany and I was drinking with my host brother and his girlfriend. And uh, that night I went to bed, I was a little bit drunk. And I was looking at my phone and I saw a picture of my little sister who I hadn't seen in like six months. And I just started crying. I, I missed her a lot and I love her so much. You know, I, I haven't seen her in a, in a long time. And um, yeah, I didn't cry for very long, maybe a few minutes, but yeah, that was the last time. Years ago. Why? We were signing yearbooks in high school, and um, I began to cry when a good friend of mine um, signed my yearbook. Uh, we, yeah, we exchanged yearbooks, and I was writing uh, in his yearbook, and I turn over and he's writing in mine, um, <laughs> and I just start to tear up. Like, no real explanation. I just, I just started crying, like a happy cry. Though. Not like the sad thing, it was like, I was like laughing as I cried. Yeah. But I would just say it, I don't care. Well, no, I'm, I'm trying to think of a good way of phrasing it. Just phrase it, just say it. Like... Did I cry when he died? Is that what you're gonna ask me? Sure. No, 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 no. Was that what you're no, gonna ask okay. me? okay. Do you think you should have cried when your dad died? No. No? Why? Why? Yeah. I mean, the only thing that's like normal, I guess, if you want to say normal. They're normal stupid. It's so stupid. I was like, well, I don't really know what to feel about this. Um, and then I thought about all the movies and stuff, you know, like the way people naturally react to death. I was like, this doesn't really fit this situation. So I was like, I'm just going to do what flows. And I'm like, oh. I didn't cry. And then I went, I hung out with my buddy that day instead of like hung out with my family. And we made jokes about my dad <laughs> literally dying that day. And I was like, all right, this is not, this is not normal. But, uh, 